Hello everyone. So now it, uh, I will show you how to do random forest regression. So basic like classification, but instead of you, you, you classify into a discrete value, you, you classify or regress into a continuous value. For example, uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, rate, uh, precipitation, population, and elevation to decide the less representative of an area. Okay, let's add data. First, I'm going to use open line map. Uh, precipitation only. Then I'm going to use to the multimedian as our uh, dependent variable. Then I'm going to use uh, word pop population. Uh, here, I think. Put in data. And I will use another one is uh, elevation. So we use NASA DEM, I guess. NASA DEM. Ah, so we got four data. This for one, uh, this is the precipitation, GP Tation, and it will be the uh, LST, and this speak also become the population of data. And the last is the mass data. Okay, uh, first we're gonna make sure the, the value is only uh, you know one image, and we're gonna use this area, uh, island of Java. Okay, uh, for precipitation, maybe I can make it like you know I get the sum of the value. Reduce, a reducer sum. Then we're gonna rename it. Uh, a screen. Let's see what the data look like. Rain max maybe like five thousands. A late the purple blue cyan green uh yellow. So we're gonna know this area uh, rain is. Ah, so this is data. So we can know the oh thing <laughs> misplaced. The value. Ah. So is it uh, blue? It'll become more or purple. I mean, there is a lot of you know rain in the area. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, let's do the one for uh, LST. So LST, BLST, uh, LST is equal to LST. Same reduce. We're gonna use uh, the mean. The search name. And then. LST. <coughs> Min max uh, will be like 50. So we already know the, the value to of the area. Oh yeah, I forgot to, I think you need to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, and surface. There's a scale, I think, for value. Oh, here we go. We need to scale it first to scale it. Multiply. Then we need to change it to uh Celsius to make it easier to understand. Okay, let's see the data. So there is the ah here. So the red is gonna be super super hot. Okay, that's another one. Population. For population, we need to uh, filter for the bounds. 
aku terbang dan area so is geometry then we need to filter the date to it itu ah year filter EQ itu nanti di Gonna make it with the media music. Black, red, white. So just put it to element for this array. Ah, I think we're gonna check, get the latest one. Sort by system time start. Okay, the first one. Nah, this population, then the last, I'm gonna use elevation data. Fat elevation. And then we then this we pop. Top data. Now sudden, select elevation. Then we can add it to. So the same for the hike. That is what I think we already have the data we need. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna uh, make a sample of the area. Oh no, I think we're gonna make it into one image first. So I will call this combine. It's an image con consists of all of this. Ray, LST, pop, and elevation. Then that's next that uh, I'm gonna make a sample of the area. Uh, in a sample, no pixel, gonna make maybe like 5,000, I guess, the thousands for the sample. Then for the geometry, it's gonna be the geometry we use. Then for the scale, I put at 1,000, 100. Let's print the sample. Oh, this region. Okay, let's see. Oh, there is 1,000 sample samples. Oh yeah, I need to update the mask too. We're gonna mask the area to be only the pop area. Yes. Okay, let's show the that so the so the sample uh, resolution sample in the area. Ah, this is the the resolution of our sample. It's random, I don't. <laughs> I think this is just a random sample. Okay, let's maybe add another more sample. Oh, it's too big. 
would be like 10,005. So I'm pretending. I guess it's okay. So for the uh, sample of the value, sample. I think we can identify it, you know, uh, for a test and the uh, for training for train. Maybe we gonna add a random column out of it, so we can have uh, the test area and for the train. For training, maybe the sample, then the filter, uh, filter, RTE, zero point X. Random the value. Then for the test, maybe greater than. Okay, so we have a little test. Now we're gonna train it. So the classifier like as well. Regression to be classifier. Samara the forest where the separation is the train. And for the train, uh, for the what we want to detect is LST, while the training one to be uh, uh, rain, right? Rain elevation and population. Get train data. And also, we need to, uh, oh, yeah, forgot this number. Like this train. And we're gonna set it, uh, set output type with put model to be regression, regression. Okay, let's see what the regression will do. I'll explain. Here we go. We also need to print the sample size and the train size. Train size, the train size. Then for the test size, test size. So we have we can know the. There's a missing value of rain. What is it? Uh, what is it missing? Let's try to check the value of each other. Domain mm. elevation population. Ah, this is supposed to be pop. Right? Elevation pop rain. Ah, it's wrong. Mm. So elevation pop delta. Uh, we can see the importance. Uh, isn't the, they have almost the same importance, I guess? It's okay. Yeah, we can predict the data. So you send the test data. Or we can ask data for test data. Data. So for the test, we're going to copy it using the regression. We're gonna have the test data. Still the same of LST, exactly the same. Let's test that. LST prediction. Can hide the other one so you can we need to only see the 
rest from the real and the prediction. Also, is the the real one, I guess. Ah, <coughs> I forgot. <laughs> this is not the image. I think for the image, we can also use the same uh, combine. I guess. This is the prediction. LST. But for the value, we can also do it later using the classifier that I showed you before. You take one. Hey, sure not. Okay, uh, so this is only the image, right? We show up, but we also need to see the, you know, the data actually. The stick. If our if our prediction is, you know, accurate, I'm going to show you later after this. Not using opposite, but we're using other else. <laughs> so this is the prediction one. And this is the real one, and this is the prediction one. Quite close, huh? Though not really. End. Percent things. It's okay. Okay, let's uh, compare uh, with grab you know, for test data. Yes, test classify regression. The name is also the same. as the prediction. Now we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make uh, create a graph to show to show the you know the the uh, r square of the value so we need chart you know use u chart vector by picture where we're gonna use text data then for the actual value we're gonna be lst then for the prediction lst prediction Let's branch the chart. Okay, we need. I think we need to add, add the you know type of chart. You know. Set chart type. We this scatter chart. And the option. We're gonna set the title. Title is uh, LST. Actual test prediction. Then we can also add a you know trend line. Mm. For trend line, we can make a GT to be this one. The axis. The twelve for the triple axis is going to be title LST prediction trend lines of a GP. Okay, let's try. Let's what's it look like? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's LST. Yes. Okay. And also, we can also add the you know, show. Two. Two. Huh. 
Ah, so this is a turn of value. Okay, this is our grab, I guess. We can, we can run it again because we, we don't see the R2. <laughs> oh, R square. Ah, so this R square, R square is 0 0.8. That is quite good, right? But also, we need to show the, you know, one to one, you know, uh, grab to see the correct, correct our prediction is. So, we're going to use another data, maybe it has help. to be 0 0.3 and for a series we we'll need to do some changes with the series that the data doesn't exist okay let's make a new one to compare data vector data set line now for this data get lst okay so we're gonna slide here You can also hide it when it is simple because only for the second the second one. Maybe we need to change the color, I guess. So we have it as blue, I guess. Blue. Okay, this is our data comparing with a one to one line. It seems that our data mostly, you know, there is some data that. Uh, overestimate this area the data that underestimate and this accuracy of our prediction of regression and yeah, this result of the data top, 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 top. <laughs> so i guess that's it i guess that's it for the tutorial for the voice regression where we are using uh, population brain and elevation as the independent variable and lst as the dependent variable. I guess that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.